Hello, today we're going to learn about special right triangles in the unit circle. First thing I want to do is point out these are right triangles, so these does, this does not apply to other kinds of angles. So once you know something's a right triangle, you can learn a lot from it. For example, you can use the Pythagorean theorem, and we're going to use that. Okay, so let me mark that at a right triangle. First kind of special right triangle we'll look at, there are only two. Um, and the first one is a an isosceles right triangle. So if those two angles are the same and it's a right triangle, you know they have to be 45 degrees each, uh, which means that the two sides also have to be the same. So if we call that bottom side x, then that means the left side has to be x, right? So if the bottom is 5, the left has to be 5. If the bottom is 20, the left has to be 20. Um, that's the nice thing about isosceles triangles. We can find out the third side by using the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, so if we have a squared plus b squared equals c squared, then we plug in x's for a and b, and we get that c is x times the square root of 2. In other words, all you have to do if you know one of the sides is multiply by the square root of 2, and you get the third side. So we'll do some examples in a little bit about that, but if you know that the one leg is 5, and that means the other leg is 5, and the hypotenuse has to be 5 root 2. Pretty straightforward, okay? So those are called 45-45-90 um, uh, triangles. So yeah, if you're multiplying by root 2 to get from the leg to the hypotenuse, I want you to think for a second, what would you do if you were going the other way? Well, the answer is that you would have to divide by 2, by, by root 2, sorry. Um, and like I said, those are 45-45-90 triangles. Pretty straightforward. Okay. The other kind of triangle is a 30-60-90 triangle, so let me label those. Um, it's always good to kind of draw up to scale if possible and to mark, remember that the smaller one's going to be 30, which makes sense. Um, let's l mark that bottom leg X, and what we're trying to do is we're trying to find what's the other leg and what's the hypotenuse. Uh, and in order to do that, what I want you to do is imagine that we're going to flip the what the triangle that we have over on the other side like that over the long leg um, just reflect it so what you get is you get a 60 degree angle down there well if you look at it closely you have a 60 degree angle on the bottom left on the bottom right that means that this top part also has to be a 60 degree angle and we have an isosceles uh, sorry a uh, an equilateral triangle which means all three angles are the same so all three sides must be the same okay um, so that actually helps a lot. For one thing, that, that, that one down there on the bottom right is also x because we reflected it, which means the whole side is 2x. And if it's an equilateral, that means this side is also 2x. Um, that's very nice. So in other words, if you know the short leg of a 30-60-90 triangle, just by drawing this little picture and thinking about it for a second, you can figure out, hey, that's got to be twice it. So if that short leg was 5, then the hypotenuse would be 10 pretty nifty. Um, moving along though, if we want to find the other leg, it's a little trickier. We need to use that Pythagorean theorem again, so let's label them A, B, and C. Uh, I'm going to fill in X for A and 2X for C, and if you do the, uh, figure out the math, you can follow along right there, you get that B is X times the square root of 3. So another way of thinking about this is, again, if you have X, all you have to do is multiply by 2 to get to the hypotenuse, and multiply by root 3 to get to the other leg. So let's look at that here in a few practice problems. Um, the first kind I want to do is this 45, 45, 90 triangle. They gave us the hypotenuse as 26. So remember when going from the hypotenuse to the leg, the legs are always going to be smaller. So you want to divide by 26. Oh, I know this is a 45, 45, 90 triangle because E and F, those sides, are marked with that little hash mark. That means they're the same length. And so they are, uh, they are, the it's a scaling if they're the same, and or sorry, it's an isosceles if it's if it's the same. So that means it has to be a 45, 45, 90 triangle. Um, so let's take 26 and divide it by root two. What we get is something with a radical on the bottom. Well, we don't like that in math because it can look very different and still be the same number. So let's get that radical out of the bottom. You simplify it and you get 13 root two, which is actually a lot prettier than 26 divided by the square root of two. Um, now the other nice thing about the 45, 45, 90 triangle is that those two legs are the same, so we get that f is also 13 root 2. Um, and yeah, so in these kinds of problems, I'm going to give you one side, and you just have to find the other two. All right. Uh, 
So I'll leave the uh, bottom left done here. I'll leave that for you to do on your own. The practice, that's another 45, 45, 90 triangle. Let's look on the right side here. Here we have a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Uh, again, remember, if you have the short leg, which is, that's the one we have, it's opposite the, the uh, angle 30 degrees, and it's right, right next to or adjacent the 60 degree angle, then all you have to do is multiply by 2 to get to the hypotenuse. So 6 times 2 is 12. Uh, we could use the Pythagorean theorem for the third side, or we could just remember, hey, uh, remember the short leg times root 3 gives us the longer leg, so it, the answer is going to be 6 root 3 for y. Um, those are pretty straightforward, and there's an easy way to check your work here. Let's just make sure we got that correct. It's simply using the Pythagorean theorem. Um, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So let's plug those in, the values we just got. We started with a. Um, and we plug in B and then C, and you can even do this, so need a little more space, so you get 36 plus 108 is 144, and that is correct. That checks out. So you can remember it's easy as A, B, C, or oh, well, uh, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Okay, that reminds me, I really need my uh, joke. Uh, just know that you should never argue with a special, uh, special triangle, because they're always right. Okay. Moving along, I want you to try those two triangles uh, for, uh, before coming to class. I'd recommend right now. This should be pretty straightforward. And uh, yeah, do those, and we'll check them in, in class. Um, okay, so this next, uh, this next section is the unit circle. You might have also heard it referred to as the Death Star or a bunch of things you're going to have to memorize. Um, it is not as bad as it first sounds like. Um, so as long as we think about it and understand it, okay? So that's that's my goal for you here. First thing I want you to draw your attention to is it's the unit circle. Why do we call it a unit? Well, a unit means one, so it simply means the radius is one. But that also means that this line, this line, this line are all one, okay? And that's important to remember when you're looking at some triangles in just a little bit, all right? So just remember all of those lines, they're all one. Okay, I hope you didn't write that down on your paper. So, um, yeah, unit circle. Another thing that's good to know is that's a right angle there. And, uh, yeah, I want to look at some of these other lines, why we drew these specific lines. That first one I went to, that's half of 90, so that's going to be our 45 degrees angle. And the other two lines are simply a third the way and two-thirds the way to 90 degrees. So they are 60 degrees and 30 degrees, as the red and the blue, respectively. Um, so uh, Let's go from here, let's draw a triangle in on there, and if you don't want to draw it over your pretty 30 degrees, um, you can copy it over to the right like I do over here. Right? That triangle is actually one of the special right triangles we just learned about. It is, in fact, a 45-45-90 triangle. Now the thing to remember, like I said, was that line in the middle, that's one because that is the length of the radius on the circle. Once you know that, since it is a 45-45-90 triangle, you can go from the hypotenuse to the uh, to the side, and you get that it is get that it is one over root two. Okay, but again, that's not uh, simplified very pretty in math, so we want to multiply top and bottom by root two. Um, we do that, and we get root two over two. And remember, because it's a 45, 45, 90 triangle, both those sides are the same. Root two over two, and root two over two. So the next thing I want you to consider is what if this was actually a coordinate plane, okay? That center would be 0, 0, and, uh, you know, our x is left and right and our y is up and down. Then that point, this point right here that I'm marking, okay, with the orange, that point, where would that point be? Well, it'd be to the right this far, okay? That's the length of the leg there, right, which we just found out was root 2 over 2, and it would be up this far, okay, which we also just found out was root 2 over 2. So the exact location of that point is root 2 over 2, comma, root 2 over 2. That's very nifty. Um, and we found out that just by knowing special right triangles. It's actually the point on the unit circle at 45 degrees. Let's uh, sketch another triangle over here to the left to find another one of these points. As you can imagine, this point that we're going to find is this right here. Okay, that's actually the goal of drawing this triangle. But let's draw the triangle and see what happens. So I'm going to redraw it over here if you don't want to mess up your pretty circle. Um, these angles, as you can picture, are that's the hypotenuse is 1. Okay, 
this uh, is 30 degrees right here and that's 60 degrees right there the uh, so yeah to get from the hypotenuse to the side on a 30 60 90 triangle we divide by 2 remember that's going from the large side the hypotenuse the, or sorry, the, the hypotenuse to the smaller leg is um, yeah divide by 2 so that's going to be one half and to get to the other leg we multiply by root 3 from the short leg which would be root 3 times a half also known as root 3 over 2 so just by measuring those two sides we find out that this this point right here because this goes to the left right here and its length is root 3 over 2 then this point has an x value of negative root 3 over 2 and a y value of positive one half okay the negative comes from because we're going left on the x-axis and the positive is because we're going up on the y alright here I'm going to draw one more triangle I'll let you figure out the sides uh, well, I'll give you the sides and let you figure out how I got that. Notice that they're both negative because we're going down on the y, that's negative, and left on the x, that's negative. And we found out that that, uh, that point is just negative one half, comma, negative root three over two. Just using those two special right triangles, we can actually find every single point on this unit circle. And that is what I want you to do in this next section, okay? So if we look here, I'll go ahead and fill in that first point we found was root two over two, comma, root two over two. The angle was 45 degrees, and you guys just learned about how to convert to radians, and that's going to be helpful very soon, so I'm going to go ahead and have you fill in all the radians as well around the unit circle. Um, so if that's 45 degrees, that's pi over 4 right there. Um, another thing that's easy is to notice that this point right here, if we were plotting it, would be right 1, because it's a unit circle, and up and down 0. So the point itself is 1, 0. Easy to fill in for 0 degrees and 0 radians. Um, I'll fill in and give you a few others. The other one we found was negative root 3 over 2, comma 1, and that was at 150 degrees. And uh, another thing I want you to notice, this other uh, right here little filler bit uh, can confuse some students. It's just ha they're having you fill in that that is 2 pi and 360 degrees, which is the same as 0 and 0 degrees, if going one rotation around the circle. So. The rest of these, I want you to fill in before coming to class. All right. If you're getting stuck, simply draw a triangle. And um, yeah, if you can't, if you're having trouble with this and just really don't understand what's going on, I want you to draw a triangle for each one of these on a separate sheet of paper. That way, you have something to bring to your classmates when you're working on this. Hope you enjoyed this video and hope you learned something. Thanks.